Season 1, Episode Number 6. Universe Mode. We've just got to set the card up. I just got to put some more light on the situation. Go on and fucking piss in peace. I am your host, Blue Boy. Not too much. Whatever. If you like what you see, please consider. Give me my Twitch follow twitch.tv blueboy1985. I'm just going on Twitch to do my little introduction. I just got to set um set the set today's card up. Hello buddy, hope you're doing well, so give me two seconds, I've got to <coughs> change a few things. We have a fan requested match, welcome when we're on the universe, we are hailing today from Green Bay, Wisconsin. Gonna have to change that. That's fine as it is. We turn the entrances of all streams and chats are interactive, so please participate if you can. If you can't, that is fine. We have four people online with us. Please participate if you can, if you can't, that is fine. So, no. what I have to do with that is... <coughs> oh, well, well played, mate. I will... The thing with um, your um, LCW, you have emoji chat on, not regular chat. So if you've missed any of my streams whatsoever, they will be on my YouTube channel, youtube.com, Hammond Reviews. This is a custom match from the suggested by Old Warrior, 1987, a, an Extreme Rules match. Jelly for... Wonderful! And welcome Miranda 1935 to the stream. Hope you're doing well. Going for Dalton Castle. As our co-main event of the evening. I'm just gonna check the sound quickly. One two. 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 So we're turning entrances off. Turn the momentum to slow. 
for the co-main event and main event. So how many people do we need? Damn it! Damn Berto Luis, we come and have five people to do that. Thank you very much everyone. How does this card look to everyone? Yep, that, that sounds good to me. <coughs> Check if we've got any news. Two uh, yeah. seconds. I will just have to check who my contenders are. The, on the top twelve, the twelfth seed for Samoa Joe Zimbabwe World Championship is twelfth TJP, eleventh Cedric Alexander. 10th seed, Brian Pillman Jr. 9th seed, Christopher Daniels 8th seed, Cody Rhodes 7th seed, one half of the Hooligan Roy Knight and part of the Knight Dynasty The 6th seed is Rhino The 5th seed is Jonathan Gresham The 4th seed is Steve Carino Dalton Castle is the third seed, David Boy Smith Jr. is the second seed, and the first seed and number one contender is Shane Swerve Strickland. His match against Samoa Joe will be a proven ground match. If he can knock off Samoa Joe, he will be the official number one contender. Um. Yeah, that should be on Community Creations, buddy. But not on this profile, so... So, the matches we've got for today's episode of Ring of Honor is the Aerial Assassin, Will Ospreay, going up against Zack Knight. The second match is a rivalry match. John, Jonathan Gresham going up against Roy Knight. And we have... The third match is Roderick Strong going up against Hideo Tom's better known as Kenta. It, from next week it will be a six card show. And our co-main event is a one-on-one -on -one Extreme Rules match suggested by Bald Warrior 1987. Jay Lethal going up against Dalton Castle. And the main event of the evening is Ring of Honor World Champion. Samoa Joe going up against Shane. <sighs> the Swerve Strict and so without further ado, we are head from Queen Bay Wisconsin. So let's go and kick some ass and take some of some chew bubble gum. We have six people live. Thank you very much. If you would like to support me, my Patreon is patreon.com. Hammers Refuse. If you don't have the Patreon, I have a donation button on my Twitch page. If you'd like to follow my Facebook fan page, my new one that's to do with this Twitch is Facebook Blue Boy 1985 Streams and my new Twitter if you need to get in contact. I don't want prostitutes, cool girls, you name it. I don't want because I don't play that way. And my Instagram is Instagram at Hammers Reviews One and my new Twitter is Twitter at Blueboy1985 One. If you need to talk, need to bend or anything in between, you can do. So without further ado, let's get started. Wonderful. Hailing from Raynham, Essex, the aerial assassin Will Ospreay, who has in New Japan Pro Wrestling in real life gone up to heavyweight division, and his opponent, one half of the Hooligans, better known as Zach Zodiac, and member of the Knight Dynasty, son of Ricky and Ricky Knight and Sweet Soraya, brother of Paige. And Roy Knight. 
out of the family I like Paige, Zack, and Switzer I have Roy and Vicky. Nah, I don't like the guys. So without further ado, let's get started. Oh nice. No, no, short on Larry. Oh bollocks, I haven't changed that. I forgot to because I was bloody on a rush. Nice clubbing blow from Zack Knight. Better known as Zack Zodiac. Nice neck breaker from Bull Osprey. Followed by the snap neck breaker. Very, very reminiscent of both Jim Whitfield and Mr. Perfect. The late great Kurt Hennig. Who I believe went way before his time. Nice back breaker from Zack Knight. I've been a wrestling fan for 33 years since I was 3 years old and 36 now. Most people grow up wrestling but I didn't unfortunately. Mm, yeah, I've, I think I'm recording the match. Nice, nearly four miles. Zack Knight, they are called to him and Roy are collectively called the Hooligans. Who we'll, we'll see in one of the upcoming matches. Nice, Irish whip. Nice, short arm lariat from Zack Knight. Yes, I know the joint now, Steve, because I forgot to change it to I am like a more generic. Ring of Honor was founded in 2002, so it's its 19th anniversary this year. They started at the Murphy Recreational Center in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. They've currently got partnerships with New Japan Pro Wrestling. Nice. Gut wrench suplex from Zack Knight. Zack looks like a bloody rude boy. Nice hard over trip, followed by a short arm lariat to the back of the head of Zack. One. Only enough for a one count. Nice snap suplex. Very reminiscent of the Dynamite Kid. Great wrestler, but a shit human being sometimes. No, n neither did I remember in 1935. Dynamite Kid had a Best out of five series with the original OG Tiger Mask. Nice kick to the midsection from Zack onto Will Ospreay. Nice punch from Zack, followed by the nice Russian leg sweep. Ring of Honor could have folded in the early days, but by because basically their owner. At the time, Rob Feinstein was caught solicitating young boys, so he was a fucking paedophile. So that's what basically broke impact for like TNA at the time and Ring of Honor's partnership. Impact Wrestling are partnered up with New Japan Pro Wrestling and AEW, but I hope Ring of Honor gets involved. Nice, Samoan driver from Will Ospreay, go for the pin, one. Two, only enough for a two count on that exchange. Nice snap neck breaker from Will Ospreay, very reminiscent of Mr. Perfect that I said. <coughs> it's both Ring of Honor and Impact Wrestling's 19th anniversary this year, and it'll be their 20th next year. Nice stun gun from Young Zaxo, formerly known as Zaxo the Act, when we used to go, I went, used to go to wrestling a lot, or a lot. Nice ripcord lariat from Zack Knight. One, two, only enough for a two and a half count, or two and seven eggs. Zack Knight goes to the top rope. Goes for the Macho Man Randy Savage style elbow. Seems like the referee has glitched into the ropes. Nice 
What a palaver, people. What a joke. Nice stamp on the arm from Zach. Walk away with the back elbow to Zach. Right. Nice sit down, Samoan drop. Or sit down, make sure no good over. It doesn't really matter. Got to flip in. One, two, three, and your winner, the aerial assassin, Will Osprey. Okay, audience. Is the sound okay for everyone? Please let me know in the chat a, with a yes or a no. That was a fantastic clear with the ripcord Larry of the Kalachika Okada's Rainmaker. I thought that would be over, but that was a very valiant effort from Zach. Now, I will be introducing a tag team division at some point. Let's go on to the next match. <coughs> this next match is a road match. Hailing from Atlanta, Georgia. The Kraken. Member of the Foundation in Ring of Honor and Real Life of J. Lee Ford and some others. Jonathan Grasham. And his opponent, Hailing from Norwich, England. Member of the famed Night Dynasty and brother of Paige and Zach Knight who we saw in the previous match. He was formerly, formerly the Zebra Kid. I don't really like the guy. I like him as a wrestler but as a person, nah I can't stomach the guy. My drink of choice today is Lucrelade. And I have got some lemon lime fruit water. Yeah, absolutely right. Not to put it, but it's going to be fucking dark. <clears throat> the actual feud was actually with Cody Rhodes. Okay, if it does this board for you. 1987, it means it's probably a rivalry match. Not yet, no. We're going to see if it gives us exactly what we want. I haven't, no. You take it easy, mate, and I will watch your streams later on. So don't worry, Bulldog in 1987. Roy reversed the body slam. Nice, good work in his style. Neck breaker from Roy Knight. That movie is very reminiscent of Ravis and Rick Rude, who no longer is with us, unfortunately. Nice leapfrog from Roy. Nice hard eye whip from Jonathan Gresham the Kraken. His finishing move is the octopus stretch hold. I would like to say a very big thank you to my brother, the real sofa for making my custom claret and blue Mega Man. How I got my name was because I was a big fan of Blue Meanie, the wrestler from like, ECW. He was Blue Boy for a little bit. And I'm a big fan of the Mega Man series. That's how I got the name. <coughs> nice running elbow for my Roy Knight. Roy Knight has been a prison because he had a fight with someone uh, playing football. He played football for a little bit. We are rich, 
Oh, we're awake. Oh, we're awake. Come on, people. Nice. Oh, man, I'm from Jonathan Gresham, but I do respect the Knights as wrestlers, but I don't respect him and Ricky Knight as people. I really can't. Welcome anyone that has just joined the stream. Hope you are doing well. I'm actually saving for a new computer desk. That's what the funds are actually for. Five, six, seven, eight, nine, ooh, ten. Yeah, exactly, mate. You take it easy. Have a good one. I'll give you a buzz if it's not too late. Nice, a dragon sleeper from a Jonathan Gresham. Nice, niece from. Boy, nice arm ringer. They should be trying it, this is awesome. The Jonathan Gresham's a more technical sound wrestler. But the old body for this nice arm ringer from. Jonathan Gresham. Nice. Fifty farm. Boy, nice. Nice leg trip. Nice ankle lock. Submission. I would have grapevined that leg and applied more torque and more pressure. My snap suplex from Roy Knight. Best policy when you're doing a stream to keep hydrated. Nice kick to the arm of Jonathan Griffin. Nice arrow strike. Jonathan Gresham with the knee of Roy Knight is donning the proverbial crimson mask. This has been a fantastic match so far. The show's normally gone for about an hour, maybe more. Nice neck breaker from Roy Knight. Nice kick from. Jonathan Gresham. <coughs> nice. Jack Knight Powerbomb from Roy Knight, who was formerly known as the Zebra Kid. Wrestled for a long time. One, two. His son is called Ricky Knight Jr. Nice. Short arm close on. Another short arm close on from Roy. Nice move from Rory. So it's going for the Yakuza. Oh, not again. God damn it. Nice float over. Butterfly. Cross arm breaker. If you apply that move correctly, you can hyperextend the shoulder and pop it up its side. I'm no wrestler or MMA practitioner, but I am. I have seen that in wrestling and other things. Nice snap suplex from Roy Knight. This match has been very even, Stevens. Roy just stands like a lemon. Jonathan Gresham with the chop block. Oh, bloody hell. I would go to the doctors if I were you Miranda in 1935. It can't keep happening. Are you sure you haven't got tonsillitis? Or glandular fever? Nice. Cattle mutilation from Jonathan Gresham. What I would like for 2K22 is for them to actually make that people have the show their way. One, two, nice. Lou Fed Press followed by Mounted Punches from Roy Knight. Nice 
No, it's Andre from John Progression. He has been in Japan. I believe it was the Zero One promotion many years ago. I think he was a Zero One Junior World Champion. The Japanese branch of Zero One because there is an American branch and the Scottish branch. Nice power driver from Roy Knight. Roy Knight goes to the top rope. He's going for a Macho Man style elbow. Nice kip up from Jonathan Gresham. Goes for the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count on that exchange. Jonathan Gresham kicking away at Roy Knight. Nice crossface chicken wing from Jonathan Gresham. Jonathan Gresham going for the cattle mutilation, the legendary Brian Danielson, batting on as Daniel Bryan nowadays. That didn't work. What was Rush doing? One, two, three, and your winner, Jonathan. The Kraken Gresham. I'm just going to have to check if my entrances are off. That was a very valiant effort from the former Zebra Kid, Roy Knight. Cody with the attack. With a same of game. Oh my god! What a bastard you are, Rhodes! What a bastard! That's what this says. Part of the rivalry match, so I didn't set up to do that, so... Seems like Jonathan Gresham, he's on a bit of a... He's on... A plus one, and he seems to have like a head injury. So he's third in the rankings. And Roy is ninth. How very dare you, Mr. Rhodes. Who do you think you are? Because that sometimes does worry me. So the entrances go off, off, and off. So the third match of the evening. It's going to be a doozy, people. Hayden Farmer, Tampa, Florida. The Messiah of the Backbreaker, Roderick Strong. And his opponent, Hayden Farmer, Tokyo, Japan. I the boss. I the king of Japan. And now residing in Florida, USA. Hideo Tommy, better known as Pro Wrestling Noah, stand out. Kenta. I know any of these guys. I just booked the show, do the ring announcing, and commentate the show. The referee wants a good, clean fight. Ring of Honor. Oh, oh, witch. Oh, oh, witch. Nice butterfly. Float over suplex. Nice high angle drop kick. From Roderick Strong. We have the new Avengers up DLC tomorrow, so I'm very excited, so I will be playing it. It's the Clint Barton Hawkeye, the OG Hawkeye as DLC. I think it's called Deep Dive, so I will be doing that tomorrow. Yeah, I know that. How dare you bump the referees? <coughs> Nice leapfrog, nice backbreaker from Roderick Strong. One, only enough for a one. The referee was very discombobulated. Nice judo style 
Snap DDT. Nice clone blow from Roderick Strong. Nice float over butterfly suplex from Roderick Strong, who was a mainstay in Ring of Honor for many years. I love you too, Miranda 1935. Love to some people, it's just a word, but if people mean it, it's fine. But if people that I don't want to give press to, nice. Give, um. Irish whip and Irish person did come up with nice kicks, nice leg pull manoeuvre, I do not know what that move is called, nice double stomp from Kenta, who was in Ring of Honor, when Ring of Honor had a partnership with New Japan Forest, and nice knee breaker from Roderick Strong, yep, I know you do, but other people don't, one, two, Ha ha ha. Three. Ha ha ha. Yeah, I wasn't talking about you, Marines 35, I was talking about other bozos. I will let people book one match a week. If there's any suggestions, please let me know. Yep, I do like Lord of the Rings, one of my favourite films. I'm trying to get an extended edition of all films, all three films and the Hobbits films extended. Nice club and post from Kentar. The referee's up to a six count. Kentar's thrown Roderick Strong into the ring steps. It seems that the Undisputed Era having imploded. I watched NXT Vengeance Day last TakeOver Vengeance Day this earlier while I was streaming. Both getting at the nine and a half count from the referee. Nice Japanese. Trap, sorry, driven through leg whip. Great move to, I didn't, didn't originate. It may have been the great Kabuki, but the great move has used that move for years. And Kenta is the originator of the go to sleep. Not not some guy called Philip or CM Punk. He didn't come up with a move. <coughs> nice kick to the inside leg from Roderick Strong. Nice hard Irish whip. An Irish person actually did come up with the Irish whip. Nice running knee from Roderick Strong. Nice Shuranaki backbreaker from Roderick Strong. He knows many variations of said move. Nice chop, but it got as hard as Kabashi Kenta. This, this guy's Kenta with all big letters, <coughs> but I like to call him Little Kenta, and Kenta Kabashi is one of my favourite Japanese wrestlers, and so is this guy Kenta here. Nice vertical suplex from Kenta, or Hidori Hideo Itami at the time. He showed up on AEW and beat that shit out of uh, Oh, shh. That's nasty. Mm. Nice clubbing blow. From Tender. Nice trapping wrist lock. From Kenta. I don't know <coughs> what's going to happen with Ring because if you haven't seen um, NXT TakeOver Vengeance Day, I'm going to say someone and someone got super kick. One, two, nice. Bridging German suplex from Kenta. If he hits the go to sleep, it's game over. Nice. End of the heartache. Which is a gut buster. Gut, a gut buster back. No, it's a backbreaker, sorry. 
and sit down, back breaker. Nice leg sweep for my canter. So how is everyone this evening? It's not Monday for everyone. If you live in this up, Australia, New Zealand, India and Japan, it will be a Tuesday already. Ghost has been one, two. Going for the top rope, Superman punch. Nice back kick. He can take his point off the bullet club and he was on AEW Dynamite this week. Another crap set up back and go to sleep can to you, Dingleberry. Jump and a back kick. Is that the only move you can do, Kenta? Come on. I could have, I could have, I could I could have beat this match by now. I'd have hit the go to sleep. And he does the fucking back kick thing again. Come on, the fuck shape. This code is ridiculous at times. Nice. Finally, there's a new fucking move. Let's club him. Dick strike form. Tented nice. Step mass reflex. Followed by a sleep hold. What they believed in the olden days and the old guard thought if you applied the sleep hold too hard, you can cut someone's carotid artery off. That does happen, and if you apply it too hard, you can actually kill someone. That is fact, Jack. Tony Brown is coming soon to like NXT and Eli Drake has signed as LA Knight. That's hilarious. Kenta going for the legs. One, two, only not for two and seven eighths. Or oh, two and a half if you're being precise. If he hit the go to sleep sooner. Is Kenta going to hit the go to sleep? Oh ho 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 ho. Nice stunner. Go for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, Hideo Atami Kenta. Mr. Holden Mazel was one of my favourite wrestlers, but unfortunately he passed away in a wrestling match. Because someone did a avalanche belly to back su suplex to move Raider Maroon has done for many years. The move wasn't malicious, it was just an accident. <coughs> and on to the co main event of the evening. <coughs> This match was suggested by Bull Warrior 1987, who is a good friend of mine, and he works on a wrestling magazine called, I believe it's called the Gorilla Press. This is an Extreme Rules match, hailing from Elizabeth, New Jersey. Men stay in Ring of Honor and many other promotions. And multiple time Ring of Honor World Champion, and his opponent, hailing from Catalan Islands, New York, Dalton Castle, but sometimes people know him as Ashley Remington, which is a very similar character to Dalton Castle. In real life, he has been the world champion Samuel J. Lethal, but not in my universe. Only people that have been the champions are Ricochet, he lost in his first title defense, and Samoa Joe Cullen is a current champion. You're, you're being naughty Miranda 1935. Weapons are permitted in this match. 
the Zelda Strike from Jay Lethal. He was the Black Machismo in TNA Impact Wrestling. Oh, we're rich. Oh, we're rich. Come on, people. No, that was right. Nice. Larry, nice. Leap of nice. Triangle drop kick from Smooth Sailing, Dalton Castle. Nice. Gut wrench. Suplex from. Oh. Man, you're, you're, you're gonna get sorted out around in 1985. 35, sorry, naughty, naughty, tap, tap, tap. Nice. Hold in. Fine, scary. Nice. Executed drop kick from Jay Lethal. Nice jump in, elbow drop from Jay Lethal. Nice, elbow strike from Jay Lethal. Goes for the Yakuza kick, but to no avail. Nice, release bridging. Dragon suplex from Dalton Castle. I think he started as Ashley Remington in like a wrestling company called International Wrestling Cartel IWC, not the internet, internet wrestling community. Nice, float over. Swinging neck breaker from J Lethal. Goes for the pin. One. Only enough for a one count. I hope there is some weapons in this match or I'll be very annoyed. At least Ring of Honor fans on it. Blood first is the ECW fans from back when. Nice neck wrench, applying some torque to the neck of Dalton Castle. Nice, hard Irish whip to the ropes, followed by a nice executed drop kick. The ropes are the, um, the width of a water hose. Okay, that's fine. Uh, I'll be back. Nice. Hard hose whip to the outside from a Dalton Castle. Nice. Back body drop. Dalton Castle with the sledgehammer. Why did Peter Gabriel with the sledgehammer? Yeah, if you don't know the reference, it's a song by former Genesis lead band leader Peter Gabriel did a song called Sledgehammer. That was Claudio Castanoli, back on Cesaro's entrance for Sledgehammer. Nice, short arm Larry at Farmer, J. Lethal. The speak out movements damage wrestling big time. Yeah, people should be safeguarded, that's correct. Fans, staff, wrestlers, managers, ring announcers. Nice, deadlift. Don't German super. Stolten Castle actually had a broken back in his ring of honor, um, um, like when he was a champion, and I was like, I feel bad for the guy, I really do. Nice spinning elbow. I've been on and off with Spring of Honor for many years. One, two. I have made a Ring of Honor Pure Title 2020 title tournament to this Blu ray set that I will be selling. Nice. Knee, followed by a nice knee to the face of Dalton Castle. There's a new game called um, The Wrestling Cold coming out and it looks very good. We haven't seen a roster reveal. We've seen roster reveal but we have not seen any gameplay. 
AEW have got a game coming out, All Elite Wrestling. It's made by Dukes and some of the old people, old guys from like THQ, go to the pin. One, two, only enough for a two count on that extension. On that occasion, sorry. <coughs> The European Africa from Dalton Castle. <clears throat> nice T Bone Suplex from Dalton Castle. Dalton Castle with the ladder. Does Snapman Suplex JD4 applying torque to the neck of Dalton Castle with the neck wrench. Nice knee to the back camel clutch style manoeuvre from JD4. But there you show off, Mr. Lethal. Nice. The first body slam or cut covered suplex. Dalton Castle with the banner bannerang. Close for that pin. One, two, three. And your winner. Match requested by Bold Warrior 1987. Thank you very much. Bold Warrior. 1987 is a good friend of mine. He has he does different promotions on 2K. Jay Lee was just not the referee. How unprofessional! He will be suspended from next week. So don't you worry. So Jay Lee was 18th position, and the new number one contender is Dalton Castle. And on to the main event of the evening. Hailing from Huntington Beach, California. The reigning and defending Ring of Honor World Champion in Ring of Honor Universe, Samoa Joe. Actually, he was a real life Ring of Honor World Champion. He was the longest reigning World Champion at one point, and he was the Ring of Honor Pure Champion, but the only title he never held was the ROH Tag Team titles, and hailing from Seattle, Washington, sometimes Tacoma, Washington, Shane the Swerve Strickland, who is Isaiah Scott in NXT, so we're up overdue, let's get started. The referee wants a good clean fat fight. Oh, witch! Oh, witch! Nice Samoan drop. Not all Samoans are related. I believe he's from American Samoa originally. Fun fact about Samoa Joe he was in the 1983 Los Angeles um, Summer Olympics. I believe it was judo. A very young Samoa Joe. Nice shoot style head but from Samoa Joe. Nice chop from Shane Strickland. Jay Lethal for his unprovoked attack on the Ring of Honor officials will be suspended for two weeks without pay and he will not be appearing on the show. He was also TNA World Champion and multiple time X Division Champion. Nice Samoan uh, drop by Samoa uh, Joe. And in PWG Provision Gorilla in California. Goes for the pin. One. Nice elbow strike from. Shane's well stripped and nice spiral kick. Nice 
Nice short arm lariat from Shane the Spoiler Stripton. Nice kick to the midsection of Samoa Joe. Nice overhead T bone suplex from Sir Mora Joe. Nice camel clutch from Sir Mora Joe. One of my favourite matches in TNA history was AJ Styles, Gun Prince, Christopher Daniels. And himself, that that freeway match was fantastic. It was a fall to a finish, which was won by Samoa Joe. Samoa Joe kicking the piss out of Shane's worst Strickland. He was in Lucha Underground as I believe Kill Shot. Nice move from Sir Morojo. If he hits a muscle buster, it's game over. I'm glad the snow has melted finally. Nice Uranagi from Sir Morojo. Goes for the pin. One, two, three, and your winner, Sir Morojo. The submission, Samoan submission machine finishes him with a UNI, not the muscle buster or the rear naked joke that he uses. So that was a fantastic match. Okay. <coughs> That's all the matches. Before we go, I want everyone to do three things for me. One, look after yourself. Two, Look after any relatives, elderly relatives, or any animals you may have, and free. Please wear a face mask if you can. If you can't, due to medical or health related issues, that's fine, but do not take the piss out of people that tell them what you've made them. Oh, no. I can, I can give you the top. World rankings. And the 12th seed is Cedric Alexander. The 11th seed is Brian Pillman Jr. Christopher Daniels. His 10th seed. Roy Knight is 9th seed. Will Osprey is 8th seed. Cody Rhodes is 7th seed. Rhino is 5th seed. Steve Perino is 5th seed. In fourth seed is Jonathan Gresham, he's gone up. Davy Boy Smith Jr. has gone down to third. Due to Shane Strickland losing, he goes down to second place. And the new number one contender for the Old Wage World Championship is Dalton Musading Castle. We will not be doing another show. Thank you for watching. You've been a great audience. I have been your host, Blue Boy 1995, and I bid you a farewell, peace out, and God bless. And I will be doing another stream tomorrow at some point. And if I don't see you on that stream, I will see you another time. Thank you and goodbye for now.